to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Friday, March 4th of 2022, the government will have to replace the plastic of thousands of cars of the Superate program that are presenting a technical failure that prevents the beneficiaries from using the 1,650 pesos that they are granted each month. In the restart of the work of the Chamber of Deputies, a series of bills came to light with significant relevance that the with significant relevance that the permanent commissions have avoided studying. Some 25 bills have been ignored by the Chamber's work committees since they have not even submitted a management report on each of these pieces of legislation. The president of the Dominican Association of Call Centers, David Crown, expressed his satisfaction with the dismantling of illicit activities from clandestine centers and affirmed that the sector he represents is regulated by the National Council of Export Free Zones and contributes with jobs and payments and services in the country. Different businesses in Gran Santo Domingo have ventured into the innovation of electric skateboards and bicycles for their delivery sales, which is at the cutting edge of fashion in the country. For hematologist Socrates Sosa, former director of blood banks and ideologue of the National Blood Center Project, the proposal to remunerate blood donation is a mistake because it breaks with the altruistic principle. In this edition, we present a report on the story of Mrs. Lisbeth Now, who had gone through a journey in search of a pint of blood compatible with hers to enter surgery for a mass in one of her ovaries. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listin Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.